how to make world maps in GDevelop 5. Big or small, this guide works for all world maps. Create a new project or open your playground project. If you create a new project, make a new folder and name it playground. Rename the scene map and create an object. Name the object map. Give it an animation for each place you want to move to. Now let's draw it. Draw your places, connect them, draw the player in a different layer, duplicate the frames, and move the player. Click save, then apply, reopen the map object, remove the extra frames, and put one frame in each animation. Rename each animation after the player's location. For me, animation 1 would be start, 2 would be end, and 3 would be listener. Speaking of listener, it's a great place to let your feelings out and bet and increase your mental health. Link down below. Now place your map and click on events. There's two main expressions that we're going to use. Button pressed, button released. Now why is that? Tell in the game, this is how you change movement, this is how you change it again. Create a variable called movement. Let's go ahead and look at some examples. Here's a basic one. Four places, different animations. Notice it says left key press, that's an expression. Trigger once prevents this from going off infinitely. By stating the scene variable, we created the variable. Notice the sub event tells the game how to transition from one place to another. Key press events set movement to 1, key release changes back to 0. You have to do this for each navigational key. Now to access the levels, we have this return event. If return or enter is pressed, if the animation is placed 1, low level 1. If animation is placed 2, low level 2. Let's take it a step further larger world map. If I play a level, notice a start signifies the level is completed. New objects are required for this. To create the level completed status, each level will have its own object. I highly recommend that you make the map a separate object from the actual player movement animation so the level icons are not on top of the player icon. Create a global variable for each level to tell the game when to show or hide the icon. Hey, it's me, Shards. This is gonna give you even more tips on how to make a game. I'll see you over there. Thank you so much for watching.